So I don't know if that they're saying that you have to use it 9,999 times to get it to five stars, or if that's just the max number and it stops counting after that, but that's possible. Hmm, that sounds like a uh, lot of work that I don't want to do. <laughs> yeah, and the only big uh, way to really speed that up is there's a title for each character that you get, you max out by using a thousand ma uh, magic arts, is what it looks like. Jesus Christ. That seems yeah, like a and lot. And that basically just makes it so every time you use it, it counts as two uses for that instead, for growth. So you still got to use it several thousand times. Yeah, about 5,000 or so. Yeah, I think I'm good. I don't need to do that much with this game. What? When you, you mean we're not going for completionists, get everything? Do oh, you... yeah, we should probably do some uh, enhancing. Yeah, first I'm going to sell off the uh, selling stuff. All right, I think that's good for right now. That's going to give us a headache at some point. Oh, yeah, most definitely. And I think the last thing we need to do is foil a uh, ambush. Take a look. Yep. Red Oof. drums. Scholarly drive. Scout ship settings. We are slowly getting more confident at this. We've only lost seven ships to de to the seas. Only seven. Oh wait, no. Oops. Because I wanted to talk to her real quick. Let's see. Yep. Rampaging axe wielding ape. Yep. As a random skill that increases the... Yep. Good job. Yep. Let's do this for old time's sake real quick. <laughs> See how tough it is for Rokuro? Oh, it doesn't seem too bad to start. Okay, cheese soup. Oh, God. Oh. Meat pie. Meat pie. Pudding. Pudding. It's oh, the same guy that wants the. It's the same guy who wants the. Yep. Tasty tea. Tasty tea. Hmm? I swear to God, if you want more okay. pudding, sir. Fruit cake. Okay. You changed it up. Savory egg custard Savory egg and chicken. Chicken. Uh. God, this this place has a very. Robust menu. Yep, and it's always changing. I mean, that's kind of like a lot of Japanese, uh... Chicken. chicken. Toot the tweet. Toot sweet? Toot sweet. Homemade bread. So, homemade bread and chicken. Oop. Shit. Shit. Oh, no. Shit. Get, give me your fucking... We need to drop the chicken. Savory, Savory custard egg. egg custard. Savory egg custard and, and fruit cake. cake. Savory egg custard. And fruit cake. Chicken. chicken. Well, let's get the chicken first. Cheese soup. Cheese soup. Meat pie. Meat pie. Cheese soup. Da, 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 da. Oh shit. Cheese soup. Meat pie. Fruit cake. Fruit cake. Oh god. Tasty tea, alright. Oh god. Continue. Let's go! And the final. Oh jeez. Fruit, Fruit cake. Homemade bread. Homemade bread. Fruit cake. Cheese, Cheese soup, soup, if you don't mind. <laughs> I, I had the pause for a second. I was like, where the fuck is the cheese soup? <laughs> Meat, pie. Meat pie. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Meat pie is down there. Beneath homemade bread. Oh, no. Oh, no. Chicken. Chicken. Pudding. Pudding. Fruit cake. Fruit cake. Fuck. Tasty tea. <laughs> cheesecake and pudding. Cheesecake and pudding. Oh, uh, well, no. We knew no, no. Don't go for the cheesecake. He's already gone. Oh, well, fuck. Pudding. Oh, fuck! Ah, fuck! Ah, fuck! <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that's the problem with trying to get too many of them when he can only hold two. Oh, God, that, that was stressful. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I've had it up to here. All my husband does is work, work, work. 
He's an official for the Abbey, and that's a fine job to have. No complaints there. But when and, when and if he comes home, he does nothing but talk about work. Just the other day, he talked my ear off. Oh, you don't say. That's too bad. You um, don't say. Too bad. Safe. That takes care of that problem. And now we foil an ambush. Stop an ambush aimed at the Royal Medical Society on the Danan Highway. Keep up the good work. Note how we be, seem to be doing a lot of good Samaritan so, things. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to ambush the Royal Medical Society on the Danan Highway. The Royal Medical Society is a group of doctors that travel around healing the sick. They're funded by donations given by ordinary folk. Hmm. Why would anyone attack them? Don't ask me. Some people are just twisted. And why would an underworld group defend them? Who knows? Something to do with the attackers, perhaps? Hmm. Quite possible, quite possible, quite possible. Gather your souls. Save you. I've come for your souls. All this talk of souls. We should be soul reapers. Shinigami? Yes. Without Zanpakuto? Yeah. You know, I have my... I, I always got really annoyed with the Thousand Year Blood War arc, but when I saw the preview and they did that remix of the number one song, I was like, I regressed back to my edgy teenage self, like, dancing along, like, Baby, now you feel like number one. Yep, yep, yep. I think we all felt that. <laughs> they ruined my combo. You jerks! Come on, really? It's where we fought the monkey. Oh, okay. It's where we fought the monkey. Monkey. Hmm, monkey. I'm just reminded of, um, did you ever see the really bad Super Mario's movie from the 80s? Yes. Monkey! <laughs> Best part of the movie. Peevish youth, is that you? They were hit by the de-evolution. Demons. <laughs> wow, that was easy. So the attackers were demons. I guess that's why they needed us to stop the attack. The doctors? Dead. Looks like they ran off. It appears they were after this stuff. Medicine with the cathedral seal. scarf did that belong to the attackers yeah all three were wearing them does it mean something they were just demons aggressive ones who attacked the innocent mm. we finished our maybe jobs. maybe not let's get back to the old lady's tavern <laughs> you sure do like that mabo curry uh, do i don't ask me you didn't think it was tasty, Velvet? Couldn't tell you. Soft oh. subje uh, subject. Subject. Doesn't hold any flavor for her. You mean sore subject? She can never feel safe. Yeah. And the only thing she can taste is blood. Oh, I see. Armor crusher. And another amber blade. I will be of I help. I will be of help. Mm. What's the matter? You're gloomier than usual. Am I actually useful? Um, you are the healer. You it does. You could be the most mediocre healer in the world, and you would still be useful. Velvet is strong and can eat anything. Hmm? But I'm not good at fighting, and apparently I'm always gloomy. Is that what's bothering you? In a fight, 
Offense alone isn't everything. Hurting your foes means nothing if you don't live to tell the tale afterwards. Your healing yep. arts are what let us always fight at our best. He's right. Compared to dead weight like Mogilu, you're plenty helpful out there. Only compared to Mogilu? I didn't mean it like that. Even Lapiset realizes how bad that was. going to grow overnight. Be patient. You've only just been set free. That you've even managed to keep up with us this far is a feat in and of itself. Strength comes by continually improving your mind and body. Keep your spirits up and keep working at it. And you'll get there before you know it. I will? The drive to improve is what's important. Right. Yet. Always the most important part. Oh, should we see the... Uh... Art that uh, R Rokudo just unlocked? Yes, we should. Armor, armor Crusher. crusher. Uses, a pair, uses a pair of blades together to damage heavy armor with heavy with impact damage rather than a slash, occasionally knocking down the enemy. Stun and armor. And stun. Yep. Nice. We can put that on them when the we find armor piercer, I wonder what it's good against. <laughs> Soft enemies. Huh. Never would have guessed. No misdeed left undone. By the way, those folks we just passed were talking about us. What were they saying? They were warning each other to be careful, talking about the demons that burned down Helavis and destroyed the Seagate Fortress being near the capital. Considering how bold we've been, everyone's still fairly calm about it. You'll be famous soon enough once we kill the world's savior. Sounds like that could get fun. Fun? Why? The people trying to capture us will put prices on our heads and put up wanted posters everywhere. Depending on who draws the likenesses, each portrait can look completely different. You know what I'm talking about, right, Eisen? Aye. I've seen dozens of pictures of myself. Some make me a monster, others make me a handsome youth. It's fascinating, really. I hope I get a poster soon. Then do your best to really stir things up. Right. I'll stir everything up good. That reminds me of one of the fa my favorite jokes in One Piece, which is all about how uh, Sanji, the cook and the guy that does all the kicks, um, he can never get a wanted poster that actually has his likeness on it. Yep. And so, like, the first one makes him look completely ugly, which is funny when they run into a guy who got hunted down by the world government because he has the exact face on the wanted poster. The version. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> And that, but it's kind of good that he didn't get a wanted poster that early on, because um, when he finally does get a wanted poster that's just his face, his family comes a knock in, and they're awful. Yep, I have uh, seen a bit about that. Yep, Germa si Germa Six are atrocious people. They are basically Nazis. What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, it's well, more. Why are you not falling in line? Definitely in the eugenics part of that too. Because uh, Sanji is a spoilers for anyone who actually cares about One Piece. He is a he is a by his father considered a failed super soldier experiment. Yep. Welcome back. That must have been hard work. How does Marvel Curry sound to you? I also have our specialty peach pie on hand. We had a deal. Spill it. Oh, but I want curry. <laughs> <sighs> Shepherd Artorius has gone north, up the Danan Highway, at the Abbey's newest temple, the Imperian's throne. He is expected to be there for a while. Are they relocating mm. there? In a sense, yes. They're holding a ritual to move the seat of the Empyrean in Nominat. In Nominat. In other words, the Abbey's new god. It is a very serious affair, so I imagine Melchior will be there along with the other high exorcists. Suits us fine. I might even find him there. That will do. Somewhere in there we'll find a chance to strike. Perhaps, but be aware that security near the throne is on high alert. We'll manage to get through. No, you won't. You may be able to fool the guards, 
But there's no tricking the barrier they've put up. Damn it. They've used arts to erect a giant wall, keeping outsiders away. But they have to get through themselves. That implies some sort of key, right? Yes. In fact, one of our people is looking into that as we speak. However, I'm afraid... <laughs> It'll cost us. You learn quickly. And here's the bill. Assassinate High Priest Gideon of Midgen Cathedral. Okay, now we're really not being nice. Assassinate. More like just straight up murder. Ask why you have to kill a high priest. I imagine it's because he's the one controlling the nectar supply. The church is the sole producer and distributor of a highly addictive substance. <laughs> They rake in huge profits, while the common man, along with your people, suffer for it. Does that cover it? You noticed your tasks were related. That was the real test, wasn't it? And you passed. No matter how skilled you are, you have to know more than how to swing a sword to earn my trust. Don't misunderstand my intentions. I'm willing to do anything, if it brings me to Artorias. I ditched my scabbard long ago. I see. So you are the embodiment of a bare blade. A more formal introduction is in order. I am Tabitha Baskerville, leader of the Bloodwing Butterflies. I'm Velvet. Tell me about the High Priest. Each evening, he prays for protection from calamity at the royal villa on the Castle Logris grounds. Tradition holds that the High Priest should be alone for the prayer. That would seem the best time to strike. How do we get into the villa? Carry this insignia with you. And allies of the Bloodwings will offer you their aid. We'll hold up our end. Just find out about that key. Ah, <sighs> uh, Velvet? Are you okay? One more thing. It's nothing. But you seem... I said it's nothing. Indigestion. Sneaking into the castle it's something will be an I need. job. Let's take this time to get everything ready and then rest at the tavern. Yeah. By the blood wings insignia. Do 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 do. Shadow trades. If nectar made from vermilion ore is so bad for your health that it was banned. Why are they making it? They make it because it was banned. Huh? Just because the powers that be say a rule is for the greater good, it doesn't mean that everyone will see eye to eye with them. If Tabitha's Mabo curry was outlawed, would you really be able to never eat it again? I wouldn't like it, but if it's against the rules... You're in the wrong group right now, Lapiset. <laughs> well, you'll get hungry no matter what. People want what they want. But anything forbidden is bound to be rare. And when things are rare, they become expensive. So that's why people make it. The world isn't a simple place. There's an underside to everything. An underside? Contract killers, secret weapons dealers, loan sharks that charge outrageous interest, pirates like me, the folks who offered us mooring for information, and the gilded helovies are all part of it. As are the people who dye chicks blue to sell them at a higher price. And the people who bet on alleyway bug fights. I thought he was talking about like women for a second, and I was like, what? If you want to stay safe. What sorts of bugs do they make fight? That's the part that got your attention. <laughs> I was confused. I was like, why would you dye a woman blue to make her sell more? And then oh, chicks like birds. <laughs> Uh, 
Again, given Rokuro's proclivities, meh. Not entirely unsurprising. Miss Gideon will be alone at night. Rest up and talk to the tavern keep when you're ready. The Shadow Guild operates this tavern. It's been that way for generations. The red scarf is a symbol of the Bloodwing butterflies? Aye, you seem to know a lot. Show that insignia to a person in a red scarf, and they'll help you out. But it was people in a red scarf. Why is it that we. <laughs> yeah. Well, I. Well. I'm hoping that it isn't them just being, like, nice and altruistic about fun network supply. I really hope it's, we're helping them set up their own um, ne um, network for nectar supply by killing their competitors. I really hope that's the case, because while, while it would be, like, the common trope thing to do, it would be kind of cheap if everyone's just a goody two-shoes on, on, in secret. <laughs> yeah. We should see. I mean, it could be something where it's, like, the reason why they're doing that, uh, is they, on the one hand, yes, they're trying to make sure that the church doesn't get too powerful. On the other hand, they're making sure that their own people don't die. Mm -hmm. I wish you could have met the previous boss, my dearly departed husband. He loved feisty pups best of all. All right, time to go murdering. Get the fucking pay. Man, they had to pay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That Captain Ifood was on the prison island for a period of time. And it's true that Melchior took him away. However, I'm afraid that is where the trail grows cold. In any case, we can be sure that the Abbey has him captive. But what could they possibly want with him? If their aim is merely to fight piracy, they'd publicly execute him or try to lure you out, would they not? And yet they've done neither. Total silence. I wonder. Could it be they want to get their hands on the relics some say Ifrid brought back from the far continent? The relic from across the sea? Have rumors of that strange thing been going around? Obviously. It's possible. There was a certain relic that the captain was curiously taken with. Kept it safe. What was it? That's our business. I'll speak no more of it. But if that's truly what they're after, I highly doubt the villa is where they're keeping him locked up. That's not where they keep their torture implements. Quite true. At any rate, I thank you for sharing what secrets you could. I wish you the best of luck on your search for more information. If survival is at stake, an elder sister eating her brother before he inexorably wastes away is not outside the bounds of reason. You needn't hold back, Velvet. Eat, Lapis. Fucked up. <laughs> no. No! Can't take her shirt with the top hat on. That's perfect. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what? Why? You were... You were shouting. Be more careful around me. You know full well I'm a demon. I'm sorry. Velvet, go apologize now. Smashing objects together is destruction. Smashing feelings together is life. But objects, tools, so much easier to abuse and toss aside. What does that mean? It means break time is over. Time to get to work, sweetie. You mean the work that you haven't been doing? <laughs> You're far more useful than Mogulu. 
only Magi loop? That's not what I meant. <laughs> hey, being more useful than you completely useless is still a step up. Don't tell me you're coming too. Sojourn alongside the gloomy demon lady, and the exorcist controlling Bienfu is sure to appear. I told my own fortune, and there it was. Do your fortunes <laughs> actually hold water? I've been in the castle before, you know. How useful to have Magilu along, they said in the future. Get in my way, and I'll give you the boot. It's the Viper's Nest. They're always watching. Yes, but therein lie shadows, too. Let's look for someone with a red scarf. Okay, damn. Let's see, it's you. Hello, sir. Is there anything we can talk Black market. <laughs> we can talk to anyone real quick. Do. Come on, let's go home. We'll get in trouble for breaking the rules. What's more important to you, me or the rules? Is that a trick question? <laughs> Obviously, I'm a law-abiding citizen. Oh. Today's performance was amazing. I still think it could use a little more punch, though. Like releasing doves at the beginning or something. Hey, Magilu, you've already gotten people doing stuff. Why are you lot wandering around at this hour? We're, um... We wanted to pay thanks to your soldiers for working so tirelessly to keep us safe at night. We are deeply grateful for your services. We're just doing our duty. There's no need to th for thanks. Still, you've made my evening. You, this is <laughs> enemy territory. We can't be too careful. I like you. You'll die last. We're literally just standing in front of him. <laughs> hey, bud. Do, 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 Look, I'm not, uh, I'm not your way into the villa. You'll find who you're looking for up ahead. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, did you know that already? Yeah. Okay. But I also hadn't, when I first noticed it on the guard in the front, I hadn't noticed it on him before. I noticed it at this point. Okay, gotcha. Because they kind of tell you, go for the, uh, go for the people with the uh, red scarves. Yeah. I heard the news. Stay sharp. <laughs> and it looks like we should have another code red boss Tabitha, in this area. Tabitha told us about you. Tell me what you need. Um, what enhance. Are... <laughs> enhance, enhance, dehance, dehance. And our expedition has returned. Look at this. Jesus hey! Christ. Mystery meat. Animal figurine and pirate flag siren crew. We have any Keep going there? at it, boys. Scout ship setting sail. We're almost level four. Kill us treasures. Oh, very info. Almost. And then let's sell yeah, the. We just got something else to sell. <laughs> yep. Pirate flag siren crew. Proof you drove off the siren crew and all female crew that uses their beautiful voices to learn their victims. Oh, siren. Okay. Siren. Yep. Animal figurine. An intricately made candy that sells well. The spider figurine is particularly rare. Oh, it's a candy? What? Yeah, fair. What did I say about lemons? I said to speed up one's metabolism, so it goes well with oily foods. Yep. Yep. And that's the other thing, is that before we face big bosses, we'll probably want to cook something to give us an edge. Yeah, we just gotta make sure we know when to do the cooking. Yeah. Well, for the uh, Code Red ones, that's easy. Oh, yeah. Is there a Code Red inside the manor? I believe so. Okay. I'll buy it. Mm. Let's see your papers. Papers, please. Check Glory to our Stutzka. I actually need to beat this that game at least once. Next to the castle. It should put you inside the villa. And go into the sewer level. Uh, into the thick of it. 
Da, da, da. Ew. I don't want it. I don't want it to be thick. You don't have a choice. Watch your step, boy. There are giant crocodiles in those waters. We're not in Raccoon City. Crocodiles? <laughs> a croc's favorite meal is witches. All right, onward and inward. Everyone but Mogilu tread carefully. <laughs> Some assassin's crew we are. Oh, Mogilu. The butt of every joke. And I approve. Yep. As it that should be. Like a serious organization. I'm impressed yes, with very serious. Agents. And they have agents on the inside to facilitate this little operation, too. They must have branches working all over the Empire. They've probably even figured out how to get cats and dogs working for them. Here's a juicy morsel about them. They make sure even their corpses go to good use. They what? Long ago, one of their agents stole into the castle. When the guards discovered him, they chased him to this very passage. He dove into the water to escape, and then... Crunch! Ah! A crocodile devoured him in one massive bite. All that remained was his arm, bobbing to the surface. From this, two important facts were learned. What were they? First, they learned of the existence of this passage. Second, they could serve crocodile meat in town. Crocodile meat rubbed with human blood becomes tender and succulent. Perfect for Mavo curry. Then I ate? If it's so tasty, I'll have to try it. Rubbed with the blood of a lying witch. That would hit the spot, I think. And it wouldn't even affect our combat strength. Ooh. Hey, the kids are working. <laughs> just a joke to help calm him down. It was it's gonna be really funny when the first spell she uses in combat is meteor. Mabo Curry is actually a man-eating catfish who. Let's keep moving. Right. Body found floating in the docks. You for this, witch killers? <laughs> the cat has decided to join me. Welcome, witch cat. The yummy. Hey, Yami. He sits upon the lap. For he is cat. Uh, hey, according to the drawings I saw, you'll need to go through some tight passages to get to the villa. With a figure like that, you might get stuck. I don't know whether to slap you or to or to or to thank you. Thanks <laughs> for the warning. Yeah, real quick, hit the map so that I can see what this area is called. Which is in the waterways, yep. Yep. The Barona Catacombs. Yeah, Barona Catacombs. There is a uh, there is a code red boss in here. Hey, look, Excellent. The water level dropped. You don't think there are any alligators down there, do you? My God, that's the way we came in here. Yeah. I know. I'm oh, just yeah, saving points. <laughs> What? Staving? While playing an RPG? Especially especially a JRPG where even to this day most of them don't have good autosave features. Yeah. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Like that is an era of gaming that I will never not regret us leaving is the era of the auto is leaving the era of only manual saves. All right. And yeah, we got stuff on the ceiling. Yep. That's a cute little slime. <laughs> oh, who's a cute little slime devours your face? It's not a cute slime. <laughs> I mean, it still is, but ah, does it burn? Oh, look at him. He is cute. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> All right, oh, down on, this let's way. Let's keep going this way first, real quick. Is this the side? Look like... Is this the sideway? Oh yeah, because there's rocks in the way. Rocks falls, everyone dies. Or no? Oh, this just leads further down. So does the other one. 
But I don't remember if this is the... Oops. This is the way we're supposed to go, dang it! Abby security is certainly lacking here. The whole point of building those massive walls around the city is to keep people safe inside. But if there's a demon outbreak on the inside, those same walls will make it harder for everyone to escape. The palace covers a lot of ground, so there are tons of hiding places. It wouldn't be hard for a demon to slip in through the waterway. I'm sure the Abbey is aware of that. Perhaps it's a trap made to lure intruders in. What? They lure demons in and then ignore them? Something doesn't add up. I know, right? Back we go. Yep. Yep. Come We're my pretty. Together. Come my pretties. Come on. Yep, there we go. Don't get up Boy, this is uh, what I was hoping for. Oh god. Sacred baboon. So you think our current load up actually I'm gonna switch my load up, up a little bit. Actually no you fuck it. Let's fu let's go! Let's fucking go! Zero! Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, it lights us on fire. Ow, ow, ow. It doesn't light me. I'm down. I'm down. I'm almost down. One sec. Yeah, that's why I was... And I'm burned. We're all a little... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I'm gonna run this way real quick. <laughs> yeah. And now let's see... Actually, let's have... Lavius was in the middle of casting something. Let's have him use the apple gel on you then. Oh, burn prevents you from healing too. Oh no. Ow! Oh no. He su he summoned too. And let's. Ow! Oh, crap. Thank you, Lafacet. Of course, the bastard stunned me. I have. Oh, no, he's chasing me now. I have a singular soul. This is not good. We should aim to try and take out the uh, little ones. That's what I'm. Yep, that's what I'm aiming at right now. I cannot seem to. I cannot seem to hurt them whatsoever. Oh wow. And I just got stunned. Oh. Switch to the big guy then. Almost it. There he is. Come on. There we go. It was a close Enough monkeying around. 53.22. Yeah. Field Keeper, Eternal Wanderer, Graceful Gladiator. For the titles. Ooh. Mastered. Three different things. Four different and things. 
Pioneering so Ignisite, Silver Scrap, yep. Silver Scrap, drops, increases drop rates for items that have not yet been collected on hard mode. No, well, we're on moderate, not hard, so. Silver Scrap, an enhancement material, ring down equipment of uh, rarity 7 to 12, as sometimes dropped by special enemies. You should yep. other dire foes of the same type will increase in strength. Oh no! Yep. Ugh, God. That, so they get scarier. That was rough. Fun, but yep. rough. Doop, doop. Yeah, Dude. that was scarier than the code red. <laughs> mm. look at red bro oh god. I hate this fucking RNG bullshit. Yep. Please have some apple gels. We were running low. Yay! Hey, <laughs> oh, hey buddy! Oh thank, thank, oh, thank God, we can put something else on people. Have a wind ring. Cool. It lowers my defense, but... What gives me the most buffs without any reds? There we go, earth ring. What gives me the most buffs without any reds? Nothing. Oh. Back over here. To items and a warp thing. God damn it. <laughs> we haven't died enough. Back gonna check what the warp thing is? Sure, let's check it out. No! Oh, Alright. Uh go into the menu real quick, cause yep. We wanna do the cooking thing. Alright. And Cook and eat. What do we wanna okay. cook? Okay. So, let's see. What has... Someone's HP is under... Covered 20%. I mean, that's not bad. 50 um, seconds of pass in battle. Restore 1 BG. Mm hmm. Fresh fish pirate platter. 30 hits or more. Fills SG completely. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, prevents all status ailments. Oh. Is that a good... Oh, we don't have any Tofu or Dobanjang. Damn. That's why. Uh, someone that, that is really good. Cover 30% of HP if your HP falls under 50. I mean, that's a good one. And then this one's 20% if it falls under 75. So it's how much? It's 20% if it falls under 75% or 50 or 30 or 30 if, if it falls, falls under 50. 50. Yeah. Let's do that one. And then let's see. Ooh. So minus 10. Yeah. So 10% stun, 40% slow, 40% paralysis, 40% burn. Let's actually drop the burn. Just, well, hold on. Let me see what this sucker does. Weak to wind, resistant to earth. Oh, so he's like... He does have the ability to paralyze. So... So, yes. We want the paral paralysis resistance. All right. All right. Let's go. All right. So, let me change up my arts a bit. Uh, what What types is he? Uh, this one's not saying. Let me see. I mean, we can change it in if we need to, but... What do you say, Pillbug? That's... That one, so this one should say... The Pillbug. Is, where the hell is he? Huh. Apparently he's got a different name. Let I'm, assu I'm it assuming it probably has a little bit of crustacean in him. He is crustacean, yes. Excellent. Let's get rid of you. I have a couple of crustaceans, right? No, I only have shell splitter. Damn. Actually, no, I have gouging spin too. All right. Has he armored as well, or? It just says, uh, just says Pillbug on this one. Counts as crustacean, weak to air, and hidden arts. Okay. 
Uh, I think I'm see. the only one with air attacks. Do I have a crustacean one, my friend? No, you do not. You have a crustacean one, my friend. Oh, he does have one. Uh, mana eruption, so... Mana eruption. Whoops. Stun that shit. Just stack it. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Let's... Grab everything around him first. Yeah, the enemy type is Pillbug. The name is Corrupted Orb. Oh. Which is an interesting name. That's adorable. So, weak to hidden arts. Plus... And fiend. 30 defense, yep. Oof, ow. Okay. Oh, he coming for me. <laughs> ow. Ow. ow, ow. Manly stance. Whoa. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Ooh. Was that invincibility frames on you? Oh, that... That was preventing me from, uh... Nice. <laughs> Elemental dispersing. Elemental dispersing glass. Provides the ability to trigger a random skill which decreases elemental damage on moderate motor above. Ooh. Mm. On his onto his hmm. Let's we don't the, have the amber bag. Some somehow. Yep. Alright, well I call that a successful one. Yep. Yeah, that's not nearly as scary as that fucking monkey was. No, that monkey was terrifying. Alright, now... Oh, the next is down this way. Hello, good sir. He was waiting patiently for me. I applaud him. Yep. Oops, wrong way. Yep, we'll want to drop the water level again. Drop! Massive flooding in the slums of Logris. Ooh. Ooh, an item. Specific gear. Wind ring. A wind ring? Another <laughs> wind ring. We need. Well, there's still like two or three people that need the wind ring, so. There you go. Have fun. Have fun, Loppy. Thank God. Yep. All right. So next, all the way to the end of this one. For that treasure chest that I can see off in the distance. Right next to the soldier. We need to get through here while it's still nighttime. The perfect place for prognostication. Eeny teeny spiny crow. Which way, which way shall we go? Mogilu. Oh, verily the icy glare of death. Boy, which way do you think is best? Read it, boy. <laughs> Read it, boy. 
There must be a way up somewhere. Let's find it. <laughs> Who is High Priest Gideon? Why so glum, Velvet? The thought of killing a man weighing heavy even on your own damaged conscience? Not especially. But I wonder how you remain so flippant about it. Hey, I'm not here to murder anyone. I'm just tagging along in search of my traitor. <clears throat> Do we have to kill him? Can't we just make him stop this nectar business? I don't think he'd listen <laughs> to us. Huh? Word in the taverns is that this high priest is a real shady character. The Abbey and the religion are popular now, but three years ago, no one had heard of them. High Priest Gideon was the one who led the church through those dark days. But once Malachim became visible to the general public, and they learned how effective Moloch arts were against demons, that all changed. Humans are such fools, only believing what they can see with their own eyes. And once the church had attained popular support, a nasty power struggle swept through the ranks. Many vied for the mantle of High Priest, charlatans, power-hungry converts, but they all faded away. They left the church? No, they all met their maker. Some from disease, others from accidents. And in the end, Gideon became high priest. Uh, he may be the head of the church, but the people clamor for Shepherd Artorius. That's got a sting. Either way, if we're to face him, he might have some tricks up his sleeve. We'll need to keep our eyes open. It doesn't matter who he is. We just do our job. Exactly. And we need to find a save point because yes, yes, we do. Uh, whoop. What's going to worse? I'll just head back to the first room. You won't get any pity or compassion. Enchantress. Armstrong. A bracelet that strengthens grip, but is said to tire its wearer if worn too long. It's been passed down the Armstrong line for generations. Grip strength, man. Yep. Yeah. Attack plus eight. So that's cool. Lots of Alright, cats. Let's see how much how expensive you are. Oh, very cheap. Not too bad. Cats! Meow! Yeah, motherfucker. All right, let's head back towards the one save point for you. Yep. <laughs>